welcome back to the channel everyone uh it's a pretty chilly day out but uh um i just got back to alaska to start start the second half of the school year so uh, i'm gonna go and get some fresh tarm again uh, i've been craving it so pretty frosty day i just stirred up a flock uh, i got a sight in my 22 quick and then i'm gonna see if i can get back on this flock and catch a couple so maybe make some uh, jalapeno and ptarmigan poppers so stay tuned got a dial right now coming for the middle of this recycle i get right to grouping so i'm happy with that That's a bummer. I bumped two ptarmigan up right by these willows right here. Uh, they flew onto the other side of them and then my camera was rolling. Uh, and as I was sneaking up on them, they, uh, the, the camera camera died. So, uh, shoot, I wish I would've got that on film. But yeah, I ended up with two. So I might head home cause it's pretty cold out and uh, I got my fresh ptarmigan to make tonight. So I'm pretty excited about that jalapeno ptarmigan poppers so stay tuned for that all right so i was able to get two ptarmigan uh the battery died before i was able to get it on film so unfortunately you didn't see that but i already cleaned them up out in the field i got them in a plastic bag i'm gonna go ahead and dry them off and then start prepping the jalapenos, cream cheese, bacon, doing all that uh, to make some ptarmigan jalapeno poppers. So uh, stay tuned for, for that. All right, so I got the legs here, got the two hearts, I got the four breasts. I'm just gonna go ahead and pat these dry because I cleaned them out in the snow. Get them nice and dry. The legs I'm not gonna do poppers with, of course, so the bone, but the breasts I'm gonna cut up into two sections and then make eight eight poppers so I'm gonna pat it dry Try to clean out the center. I just use a spoon. Leave a few seeds in there if you want. So now that I have the little boats here, I just need to take a... We had this frozen, that's why it's kind of crumbly. Take this and I'm gonna spread cream cheese into... into these boats. All right, so the cream cheese was frozen. We just gotta make do sometimes up here and freeze what we can get when we're in town. Anchorage or Bethel, so. Um, I got it kind of spread through the little jalapeno boats and now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and season them uh, with some Montreal steak and then I'll place the cut up breast meat on top and then go ahead and wrap it with bacon. So let's see the process here.
I got my ptarmigan chunks on here. I'm gonna go ahead and put more Montreal steak on the on the ptarmigan. Then I'm gonna take my bacon. So I'm going to put them on the countertop grill here. I'm going to let it kind of press on the top so it's getting heat from both sides and then do that for a few minutes. So I'll give you an update as it, as it progresses. All right, so I crisped the bacon. It was in there probably about three, four minutes. And then I have the oven at 450. So uh, that will cook the farm again internally. So it's about medium rare. So we got the next batch on. Makes a little bit of a mess, but it's worth it. All right, we're gonna go in the oven for about three, two to three minutes. All right, here's the final result. Turned out perfect. There's a couple people over. Uh, they're gonna go ahead and eat with us. So uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, uh, please consider doing so. And thank you for watching.